You know what's good, YouTube. Scratch have you here back again once again. And today, people, we're going to finish off the first week in Idiot's Guide 2 in OU. I know yesterday I was very grumpy about UU, and I still don't like UU. I will never like UU. I honestly do not like UU at all. It's my least favorite tier of anything. But OU is boring. Oh my god, is OU boring? It's too many tryhards. But, that's fine. Because we got a Magnet Zone with a Choice Specs, HP Fire, Volt Switch, Thunderbolt, and Flash Cannon combo. I'm honestly considering going with Air Balloon. I don't know if I should or not, but... I don't know. We'll figure out after this one battle. This is a temporary item, probably. Then we have the Belly Jet set on Azumarill. It's a typical Belly Jet set, except I decided to have Super Power because I kind of just wanted it, I guess. I guess that works. Belly Drum, Aqua Jet, Play Rough, Super Power. Pretty straightforward, you know what to do with it. Then we have another pretty straightforward set because that's all OU is. You don't really have much creativity, it seems. It is a weakness policy D Knight. Set up a couple dragon dances. Hope they don't. Hope they hit you for a super effective move while your multi scale is up. You can go for a dragon claw, extreme speed, and earthquake. Very straightforward. Then I decided to actually go for a bulkier set. I decided to go for a Defog Scizor. Our team isn't incredibly weak to Rocket, Rock Six Cat, Thunderous, and Dragonite, so you can take that as you will, but. So I go with Knock Off, Bullet Punch, Defog, and Roost. Mega Scizor. Because Mega Scizor. Let me see, what is Mega Scizor's stats? Mega Scizor has a base 140 defense. That's pretty good. And I'm gonna take advantage of that 140 defense and hopefully, boom, boom be able to knock off a few items and get rid of anything that's on the field. Next we have a Life Orb Greninja with Surf, Ice Beam, Extra Sensory, and HP Fire. That way I can go ahead and take out Ferrothorn because Ferrothorn, besides Magnezone, I can't do much to him. And also, with these combination of moves, I have some pretty good switching up ability for my typing, so that's that. And then finally, we have Thunderous, not the terrain version, but Trailer Thunderous, with Thunder Wave, Nasty Plot, Thunderbolt, and Psychic. I don't actually know what he usually runs here. I know that he runs Thunderbolt, Na Thunderbolt, Nasty Plot, and Thunder Wave, but I honestly don't know what else he runs. I'm maybe Sludge Bomb. I don't know really. So I decided to go with Psychic because it's Psychic. That's wrong, well, sorry, you can fix it. But, yeah, because OU is pretty straightforward and UU is awful in my opinion. But they finished the Gengar Suspect text. Don't know. Either way, well, let's go ahead and get our first of three battles in this. And what is going on back there? I have no idea. After this battle, I'll go see real quick. So he's got a Scar, Mammo, Mega Pinsor, Gudra, Zapdos, and a Mew. That's not fun. You know we're going to go ahead and lead off with Art Magnezone. If he wants to lead off with his Mew, which he does, I'm actually going to go for a Flash Cannon here. Because I'm... Hypnosis? Okay. I'm not going to question, but okay. Let's go out to Azumaro. It's gonna get a sword stance up. Okay, that's a little scary. It's gonna get another sword stance. I'm gonna go for a belly drum. And now the Aqua Jet is coming towards his face. If he decides to switch out to Skarm or even Gudra, I've got Moose for them. I've got the superpower for Skarm and I've got the play rough for Gudra. The reason I'm saying those two is because those two are his walls. Skarm is not gonna appreciate another one of those. And after this, it's going to go ahead and take out the Skarm. So, Skarmory is down, which is fantastic. Fortunately, we don't have any more recovery, which kind of sucks, but... Zapdos. 
Can you live one? No, you cannot. And this right here is the reason Azumaro is actually an S rank on the meta, so. He's gonna go for a quick attack. We're gonna live that, and Pincer's down. He's about to go out to the Mammoth Swan, go for the Ice Shard, and take us out. No, oh, he's gonna. Hopefully, we do not hit our. Yeah, I sh kinda messed up there, but that's fine. I went ahead and took out half of his team with that, so. Let me go to my D Knight. Set up a Dragon Dance. Hopefully, because I'm low ladder, my opponent's stupid. He is stupid. And I'm about to sweep. Maybe. Probably not. Yeah. Probably not. But let's go for a Dragon Claw here. It's going to go ahead and take out the Gudra. He's got Gooey, which that can maybe hurt us. I don't know if it will. But this team's just set up sweep. And yes, I know that's why I said UU was, but OU is just boring in its format. It's about to go for the Ice Shard, which E-Speed does not take him out. Ice Shard does take us out. And now, Ninja's just going to finish off. with Between a combination of a... Between Surf and Ice Beam, so. It's probably going to be the end of the battle. It's going to be a very short one, and he goes ahead and quits. I'm going to count that because it's been a, half his team is gone, and he was going to lose that battle anyways. Let's get our second battle for the episode. This may actually be a very short episode, and I'm sorry if it is, but that's a sand team, and that's a very scary sand team at that. That's a very, 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 very sc sand team. Scary sand team. So, crap. I'm actually going to go ahead and lead off with Zumaro while he's going to lead off with Pharaoh. Let's go for the superpower. Take this thing out. How does that not take it out? That's not good. Both Iron Barbs and Rocky Helmet. And we're dead. Magnazone, Magnazone's HP Fire is coming for him. So the Pharaoh is going to end up going down from this. And if he sends in the Chomp, I'm going to switch out to my D-Knight. Yeah, this is OU. It's straightforward. T-Tar. I'm actually going to go my physically defensive Scizor, because I have a feeling he's about to, yep, he's about to set up rocks. I don't think he's going to want to stay in. He is going to stay in, but we're going to take out his rocks. Earthquake coming for him. Let's go ahead and knock off his item. It's going to send in a Thunderous. It's going to get rid of his lefties, which is fine by me. I'm going to send in Actually, what am I going to do here? I'm going to send in my thunderous predicting the thunder wave. Okay, that's fine. You have hope. You have an extreme water weakness. I understand you're making a sand team, but you don't have to have a complete water weakness. It's going for the HP ice. I'm going to go for the psychic and take him out. Sand's going to take him out, though, so that's fine by me. And now he's... Don't know what he's going to send in. I'd send in Excadero pretty soon. As soon as I said that. As soon as I... Bloody said that. Let's go to Scizor. Rock slide. It's fine, I can stall this thing out. Going to go ahead and get a roost off. Earthquake is doing a lot, but Roos is going to get me back more, so that's good. Go for one more Roost. The Sand is dead. Thank God it's dead. But because Thunderous can't really do anything to this team at all, I'm going to go ahead and sack him off. That's Fire Blast coming, I knew it, but... I'm actually going to go ahead and get one more Psychic off. Get a Psychic off, do some damage. Miss the Stone Edge! I get another Psychic off, which is really nice. Get the special defense drop. The Stone Edge doesn't miss, though. Which is unfortunate, but now I think Ninja can actually come in and sweep. Ice Beam and Surf combo. Sending out the T-Tar. That's fine by me. 
it's doing 34 on its own and that's not even super effective so let's go for a surf it's gonna be the same base damage it's gonna bring him down to two. Oh, that's not good you choked you just choked let's go ahead and hit him with HP fire I don't know why I did that I mean it's not like Excadrill is gonna really do anything Yeah, let's go for the surf. Take out the Diggers B, because Diggers B honestly is kind of overrated. He says as it kills him. Let's go for the Defog. Take out the Rocks yet again, and he's gonna go for another Earthquake here, which I can go ahead and roost up. Oh my God, no, that's not good. That is not good. Is that Choice Banded? Please tell me that's Choice Banded. Would that be a Choice Banded Diggersby? That is a Choice Banded Diggersby, which is fine by me. It's going to go ahead and send an Excadrill, which... I can live any one hit. Crap. Okay, the sand is done. The sand is done this turn. I'm about to lose, though, because I got greedy. No, I may not. Because Diggersby cannot live a... Cannot live this. No, it doesn't matter. He ends up quitting, which is fine by me. I'm, everyone ends up quitting. That's stupid. That's your own fault. But, eh, whatever. Is that Mold Breaker? I'm going to see if that was Mold Breaker real quick. Is that not an X-Grid? No, it was not. So we've got Smog and Burn, Mega Manetric, Pharaoh, Tinta, another Ninja, and Chomp. Because I have a feeling that the Pharaoh is actually going to be the lead here, and my opponent's going to be that guy. I'm going to go ahead and start with Ninja, get him, get the HP fire going, take him out. That is actually very nice to start off the battle with. That is the exact reason I have HP Fire on Ninja. And yes, I know I have Magnazone, but Ninja is more powerful than Magnazone. Extra Sensory. I don't know. You'll probably take that. Yeah, you take that. Go for the Toxic. Okay. That's fine by me. I'm doing more damage to myself than you are. Really? Whatever. Toxic stall is stupid. Damn. Okay, um, I'm gonna actually go out to my Thunderous. I really should pack the HP ice on this thing for Chomp. Because I'm predicting him to actually go out to the Garchomp here. No, Manetric. You've just given me this, and I'm about to give you this. Hold this plus two sidekick from a Thunderous. You do. And I don't hold that too well. Because he knows that I'm going to outspeed him. It's probably going to go out to the Ninja, so I'm just going to Thunderbolt. No, he actually does outspeed me now, so crap. Let me send him my Zoomerall, Aqua Jet, this thing. Take him out. No, it's going to send in a Tentacruel, which is unfortunate. But I'm going to go ahead and send in my Magnet Zone. Some per I suck in OU. I suck in the higher tiers, it seems. I don't know what he was predicting, but okay. Predicting Smog and Bird. Going to D-Knight. No, he's going for the Scald, of course. Are you serious? Are you fucking serious? This is why I don't battle. 
the only to be completely honest with you already the only reason i do this series is because i need youtube i need youtube it's not i want youtube it's i need youtube so so i'm predicting another protect here to stall me out a little bit more i'm just not even playing Eat speed everything. Whatever you want to send in, I'm just going to eat speed. Earthquake, tentacle rolls down. Want to send your talent flame? I've got an eat speed coming for him. You want to send in Minetric? Probably an eat speed. I don't actually know what. Eat speed. Does not take out talent flame? What? This thing's a. This thing's not bulky. playing a lot worse in this battle than the other two because I just want to go ahead and wrap up this video because I don't like this tier. Never have, never will. I don't like the higher tiers, honestly. That's my problem. I don't like higher tiers. Yeah, I swear to God, if you burn me... You don't burn me. I'll get my citrus berry popping. And that's an aqua jet. That's nothing but an aqua jet. See. Is Smogginbird going to be able to take me out here? Probably. Smogginbird can't take me out. And the Aqua Jet's going to take out the Talon Flame. I think I... that was your smart play. That was your smart play right there. But I do take out the Manetric. And then Chomp is going to go down. If not to this, then he'll go down to an Ice Beam. He'll go down to anything right now. Yeah, let's just go in, go for the safe move, and go for the bullet punch, and end off the video with a Mega Scizor bullet punch. And that's GG. This video was a lot shorter than the others, simply because OU's straightforward, and it's the default tier, and I have my personal opinions on that. I'm not going to get into that right now. But, yeah. This team's straightforward. You just do what they do and you win. So, yay! So I've been Crydavio, you've been watching. If you enjoy the video, despite it being kind of short compared to the others and me not having that much to say about the team itself, then smash all that like button, subscribe, come back tomorrow for Monetite Monday, and I will hopefully see you then. Peace!